Okay, here I am back to finish the rest of this video. As you can see, the sauce has thickened up very nicely here. It's cook been cooking for about 30 minutes. Um, you would like, you want to taste and adjust the seasoning as required to see if it needs more salt or, or pepper or what have you. Let's see. Mm, that's just right. That's just right. Now the last 10 minutes or so that your sauce is cooking, you're going to want to cook some spaghetti or whatever pasta you, you enjoy. I've done spaghetti. You need approximately a pound of spaghetti, 16 ounces. I'm not sure how many grams that is, but it's almost a full pack of this. This was, this is the kind that I liked. How many grams? Well, this is 500 grams, so not quite 500 grams, a pound of spaghetti. And when you drain it, you want to reserve a little bit of the past water. So I've got my spaghetti all cooked and drained and it's sitting over there. Now to finish this off, you're going to want to add, let's see how much cream is it again? Um, a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. So I have whipping cream here, a quarter of a cup. Stir in a quarter of a cup of whipping cream or heavy cream. Give that a stir. And this just kind of mellows everything out, it makes it nice and creamy. Like I said, this is not a traditional bolognese, but a quick bolognese. And I can tell you, it is very good. And you'll also want to add a half a cup of good grated. Parmesan cheese. So that's a half a cup there. I like to grate my own, but you can do whatever you, you know, whatever is easiest for you or is available to you. I just prefer to grate my own. So you stir that in and let that heat through. And then you're going to add your drained pasta. Is my drained pasta. Doesn't this look nice? Stir that through. Now, if you think this is too thick, you can add some of the pasta water that you've reserved. I think this is just right, personally. Give it a good stir. Or, or toss. Tossing works well. Get all of that in there. I'm really looking forward to this. You can't beat it. Delicious homemade sauce with homemade Italian sausage. Beautiful Italian tomatoes, cream, spaghetti, Italian seasonings. What more could a person ask for? I'll turn that down now just to keep it warm. And that's it. That's my quick and easy spaghetti bolognese. Or spaghetti with quick bolognese sauce. So, oops, I've got a bowl here. I'm going to try some. So let's see, let's put some in my bowl here. We'll serve that hot. Get some more of that meat. Let's serve that hot. I think this makes enough for about 
four healthy servings, four generous servings. There is my bowl. And you want to pass a little bit more of Parmesan cheese at the table. And if you're really lucky, you can make some homemade garlic bread to go with it, which I did during that time. It's just basically, I make like a homemade garlic butter. I spread it on bread. I sprinkle some cheese on and I toast it in the oven. That's, that's it. So let's put you up here. Can you see me? No, not quite. Uh, okay, I'm going to taste this in front of you. Maybe I better get a napkin or something first. Piece of paper towel. Just in case I get messy, right? And I hope I don't. Anyhow, let's see how this came out. Get some of that meat there. Some tomatoes. Some cheese. Is there a t tidy way to eat spaghetti? I don't know, but I'm gonna try. Mmm. That is really nice, sorry. I don't mean to talk with my mouth full. My mother always taught me not to. Anyhow, this is a beautiful dish. It's great, uh, a great family friendly dish. It does make a lot, but it also freezes very well. I know my daughter's gonna really enjoy this when I take it over to her. It's uh, delicious, easy to make, family friendly, and quite economical. I don't know what more you could ask for. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video, which I've made for you today. If you have, do give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, do subscribe. I uh, need all the subscribers I can get. Well, you know, don't subscribe if you're really not interested, but if you are, do subscribe because I do plan on doing at least one video a week. My goal is to do maybe two, but for now, the one. I'll leave all the details for this recipe down below. As I said, I've also got it posted on my blog. Excuse me, I've got something in my tooth there. I've also got it posted on my blog, so I'll leave a link to that as well, where you'll be able to find a printable recipe. And um, yeah, leave a comment. If there's anything that you would like for me to cook for you, Feel free to ask. I'll try to do my best and we'll see how this goes. I can see looking at my camera that it actually didn't attach this second part to the first part. So I'll have to figure out how to put the two together. Hopefully I can do that. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you now and eat my spaghetti. Spaghetti with a quick and easy bolognese sauce. And I hope you have a beautiful day and I'm going to leave you with a uh, as I always do. Sorry, I'm a little bit. Uh, I'll leave you as I always do with, uh, don't forget that I love you and that God loves you too. And I'll catch you again soon. Have a great day.